Hey, what's up everyone? Tetrick85 here, and today I'm going to be talking about Mario Kart Wii. This is my personal favorite Mario Kart game, though all the other ones I've played are fantastic too. I love this game not only because you get to select from a pretty big roster of characters, but the tracks in this game are awesome as well. So I decided to make this video to talk about my top 10 favorite tracks from this excellent game. The hardest part about this was picking just 10, because there are easily 4 or 5 that didn't make this list that are deserving of it. Coconut Mall This is a really fun track where you go through a big shopping center at Io Delfino. I like this level not only because you get to see Piantas, but you also get to see some Mies as well as some of the stores here such as Coco Burger and Delfino Dream. You also get to race through the parking lot outside where some Mies provide a good challenge, navigating through them before you complete the lap. Delfino Square This track is as much fun racing it on the Wii as what it was on the DS. This is a quaint little stage where you get to go through a plaza and appear while getting to see some piantas along the way. I enjoy the simplicity of this track, and the music is really pleasing to the ears as well. Let's not forget the drawbridge at the end where you can perform a trick on it if it is raised so you can shave some seconds off your time. Koopa Cape This is a really neat track. Here you get to ride a small portion of the track going on the edge of a cliff. Another part where you ride along a river going through a forest, and a part where you go through a clear underwater pipe, which is my favorite part of this stage because you get to see sea creatures such as Cheep Cheeps and Unagis as you speed along. Isn't that awesome? Grumble Volcano This track is pure fun and it never ceases to get my adrenaline going every time I play it. What makes this course so awesome is that with each lap you complete, the track becomes more unstable so that the time you reach the third and final lap, pieces of the course are actually broken off. The section with the shifting track and the fireballs falling from the sky provide a fitting challenge as well. GameCube Mario Circuit I gotta be honest, I've never played Mario Kart Double Dash. But if I get the chance, I can easily see myself racing this course quite often. This is my favorite Mario Kart circus in any Mario Kart game I've played, even more so than the Mario Circuit course in the Mushroom Cup on the Wii. There's a lot of stuff to see here, such as Peach's Castle, a giant chain chomp you have to swerve past, a tunnel you go through, a bumpy sandy area polluted with Goombas, and two giant piranha plants you have to drive between in order to reach the finish line. N64's Bowser's Castle This was my favorite track on Mario Kart 64, and it's one of my favorites on Mario Kart Wii as well. The layout of the track is spectacular, where you race while dodging fire from Bowser's statues, navigating away avoiding thwomps, riding through the courtyard, and even getting to be outside the castle. If this wasn't awesome enough, the music that accompanies this is so fitting and intense, you can't help but want to try your best speeding through this course. Daisy Circuit I love this course because it's a great one that lets Daisy show just how awesome of a character she is, as she is one of my favorites in the game. Not only does this course provide some tough curves, but the track itself is beautiful along with the gorgeous sunset that is bestowed upon it. This track also has one of my favorite shortcuts where you go up a narrow stairway through a building that lets you go straight to the Luigi and Daisy statues. How cool is that? Moonview Highway I've always been a fan of night levels in Mario games, and this course does a fantastic job combining that with the sheer fun of Shroom Ridge on Mario Kart DS where you have to avoid traffic. This course also has an awesome shortcut where you can drive up a cliff and ride on top of it so you can avoid cars and trucks. This is a gorgeous stage where you can enjoy the nightlife as well as take advantage of many boost panels that can shave seconds off your time. Rainbow Road Is there any Rainbow Road track that isn't awesome? 
The Rainbow Road on Mario Kart Wii is my all-time favorite, even more so than the one on the DS. Not only is the track beautiful, but I think it's breathtaking that you get to race above the Mushroom World, as well as see star bits up in the sky. This track is challenging, but I think it's challenging in a very fun way, and the music is extraordinary as well. Every time I play Mario Kart Wii, this is one of two tracks I always play. Bowser's Castle All I gotta say is that Nintendo really outdid themselves in the design of this course, because it is awesome in every way imaginable. The music is awesome, the level of difficulty is just right considering it's in a special cup, and the overall environment in which this course lies is just breathtaking. You can definitely tell you're playing something special when you race here because it takes everything everyone loves about any Mario Kart game and combines it into one package. One cannot simply play Mario Kart Wii without playing this track first. It is that cool. This is Tedrick85 speaking. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.